Hey there, I'm Source Make, and welcome to the tutorial on Watson's Visual Recognition Service. So the Visual Recognition Service from Watson is basically where you give Watson an image and he tells you what the image is of. So if you give Watson a picture of pizza, he's going to tell you that there's a 90% chance that the image is of pizza. And he can do that for a bunch of other things. This is obviously a machine learning classifier, except we don't have to worry about the machine learning code ourselves. Watson will take care of that. We'll just pass him the training data. So in this tutorial, we are going to set up the service on IBM's website. We are going to play with the visual recognition tool that's hosted on IBM's website. That makes it easy for us. And besides just the visual recognition tool, and you can see pictures that we're going to be classifying. There's actual pizza here. It's going to be pretty fun. And we're going to create a node project to use the visual recognition service because obviously it's fun to use the website, but we need to program too, right? And finally, in this tutorial, we are going to train a custom classifier. So Watson provides us with classifiers for food and general stuff. Maybe we have a custom classifier that we want to use for our own training data. And we're going to see how we can do that using Watson. And of course, I should mention that we've already done a tutorial on Watson's Tone Analyzer service. It was a great getting started tutorial. So if this is your first tutorial, just take 10 minutes and watch the video and go through this tutorial because it's really going to get you up to speed and it's going to show you how we make the node project because we're sort of going to skip over a lot of the nitty gritty details, but you should still be able to follow along with this video. So as usual, I've got all the resources that we need as you saw right here on this web page. Go ahead and click the link below this video to get to this web page because you are going to need to download those pictures to follow along. So yeah, and while you're down there, hit the subscribe button for this YouTube channel and do hit the like button. Thanks. So let's get started. You already know what the visual recognition service is, and we need to set the service up on IBM's website. So sign up for a Bluemix account if you haven't already. I mentioned that in the previous video. And what we want to do is we want to set up the visual recognition service on IBM's website. So go ahead and click this link. You're going to click the get started free button. Of course, I already have an account and I'm going to sign in right now. Let's see. I'm going to click log in and it should log me in. I thought I was already logged in, but I guess not. So let's see how easy. Oh, so I, it is logged in. I just have to do that. Just have to press the button and Google Chrome remembered. It's going to take a little bit because, you know, Watson's doing some magic. And we are going to create a new project. It says we already have a project, the service set up. So let's go ahead and navigate to it. So we're going to click this overview button since I already have one. And obviously we're using a completely free account. We're going to go to our projects. And we are going to not build a chatbot. I said go to our projects, please. Since we already have these services set up and I happen to have them, Watson Vision is the name of the project that I created. And this is what we need right here. So what we care about, even though this looks weird right now, is we need this API key to just authenticate to use the API calls and use the service. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to click this launch tool. So let me make sure we are on track. So yep, create the project. If you don't have it already, you know, it's just, it's very easy. Then you're going to see the credentials and what we care about is the API key. So don't close this window yet because we need the API key, which obviously you're going to click the show button and it looks really weird right now. Probably they're going to fix it on the website, but we just need these credentials. So we're going to play with the visual recognition tool. The way you get to it is you click this launch tool, or you can just click the link here on the web page if that doesn't show up for you for some reason. And we need the API key. So you're going to click this, and it's not intuitive at all that you have to click that. It's a little bit weird. But we're going to copy our API key because obviously Watson just wants to make sure that we're you know, on the up and up, that we're on a certain plan. And you're going to see this. So Watson has some classifiers prepared for us that we're going to just use to test out right now. And what we want to test out is the food service because everyone loves food. I love food. Obviously, the website shows this. And we've got three pictures of food. So what you want to do is we want to save these images. So I'm going to save them. I'm on Ubuntu 16 right now. And I'm just going to save it. Let's say save, save, and save. Because we want to classify these to see if Watson actually knows what they are. Obviously, this one's a pizza and garlic knots. These are actually my cooking, by the way. Not, not this one. This one isn't. But <laughs> I cooked this. I ordered this. And, and this is from Google. Obviously, cupcakes and chowmin. So we're going to go to the downloads folder because that's where they went. And all we have to do is drag it in. So let's. 
so so as you saw, maybe I didn't make it clear enough. I have these pictures on my website. I want to put them in the classifier. I want Watson to tell me what these pictures are of. And I think they're food, so let's use the food classifier. That's what I think. We could put them in general too, but let's just put them in food for now. So let's do the pizza picture. We're just going to drag it in. I don't know if that worked. Drag it in. Is this going to work? Oh, yeah, it worked. Okay, so it uploads to the service. Watson's going to classify it. And Watson says there's a 77% chance that this is pizza. There's a 55% chance that it's cheese pizza. So, you know, it's just confidence intervals. We can do something else. Let's do another picture. Let's do chow mein. Oh, no. I, I have very bad dragging skills, evidently. So, of course, this is just a tool you can... 100% chance this is chow mein. Which, you know, I actually cook this. So I'm actually a really good cook. So uh, thank you, Watson. I appreciate the compliment. He knows my chowman is good. And obviously, you can do a face detection and just a general classifier. This is all about training data, right? That's what a machine learning classifier is. Although we don't have to worry about the nitty gritty details of that. So let's move on. That, that's um, the tool itself. If you want to classify stuff right here in the web page, you can. But we're programmers. We need to write some code. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's create a Node.js project. And this is the part of the tutorial where I'm going to move this over to the side a little bit. And I can actually, can I zoom out a little? Oh, I actually had another picture of food, huh? OK, we're going to be using that as a test just now. So let's go to our project folder, which for me, it's going to be in Hacks, it's going to be in Watson, and it's going to be Riz. This is where I'm going to write the Node.js code for this project. For me personally, you find a place on your computer where you want to do it. And as I said, I'm, I'm doing this all in Ubuntu. Now, we're just going to take the easy way out. I'm going to open a terminal here. And in the last video, I showed you how to set up a Node.js project from scratch. But in this video, we're just going to copy it over because, you know, we don't... It's basically the same thing, same code. So we're just going to copy it over. And we're going to CD into the project. So I git cloned it because it exists on git. And this is a basic node project. So first thing it says, in our config file, what we want to do is we want to pass the API key. And do I still have it copied? Let me see. No, it didn't. Obviously, I don't have it copied. I was just copying commands. So we want the API key not here, not here. Here it is. We're just going to copy it, and we're going to paste it in the API key config file so we can use it in our code. That's it for config.js. What do we need to do next? Next, we need to we need a test image to try and classify. So this is the image that we're going to classify using code. The other ones, we were just playing around with the service. But let's see if Watson recognizes this as pizza. And of course, I live in New York. This is New York pizza. I'm not sure how pizza looks where you live, but this is the kind of pizza that I get. So we just save the image. You saw right-click save. It goes to our downloads folder, wherever our folder downloads. And I'm just going to drag this right here into the project folder so that our code can access it really easily. You saw that, right? Yeah, OK. Just drag it over. <laughs> I don't know how in detail I should go. OK, so our config API key is set up. Our test picture is here. What we need to do is we need to look at index.js, which is our actual code. Right now, it's blank. And what you want to do is you want to copy this code right here into it. Let me, I forgot, parenthesis, I mean a slash. Copy the code right here into it. Now, let's go over this code really quickly. Am I blocking anything? I'm not. Perfect. Let's drag this down. And this is our code. This is our project right now. This is our Node.js project where we are going to call Watson's API service to actually use the classifier. Again, this is just an API call. You saw that we had an API key. You should know what APIs are. If you don't, I have a whole bunch of tutorials on that on the website to get started with. So we require Watson's developer cloud library, which I already have installed. We require file services. We require our config file. Next, we want to authenticate for the visual recognition service by using our API key. Our parameter is going to be this right now. Don't worry about this. Just remember the threshold. This threshold means that anything above 49% that Watson thinks it's of, that to include it. So like for this picture, you might see like a little bit red in it. And it might be like 1% red that Watson thinks it's the color red. But you don't want to output that. So just say anything above 49% is what we want Watson to tell us. So we have a test image, which is pizza2.jpg, which should be the exact file name if you didn't change anything. It should be exactly like that. 
Um, if you need to rename this file, you can, but you shouldn't need to. And we're going to pass it our parameters, of course, that we just said. And then we call the classifier. Again, it's a really simple API call. Call the API. We're going to store this response. We're going to convert it to a string. We're going to output it to the console. Really basic. This is our second visual um, Watson tool, so you should sort of know how that works. And of course, to do this, we just node index.js. And Watson gives us an output. So let's maximize this really quickly. So we passed Watson the image. Watson says that there's a 62% this is a nacho. There's a 92% chance this is a dish. There's a 92% chance this is nutrition. 92% chance food, etc., etc. It actually thinks it's a taco, which is weird to me. It doesn't actually recognize it as pizza that much. Actually, it says there's only a 52% chance it's pizza. I guess New York pizza is a little weird. But yeah, so you saw how that worked. And that's basically it. That's how you... You, you called Watson's API and you can classify images just like that, right? That's so easy. You can see that the website says that. So right now we can call Watson and he can classify images for us. And obviously you have this JSON. If you need to format it, you want to pick the image with the biggest probability and decide that, you can do that because you have all these confidence intervals, the percent chance that it is this image. You got that. So you actually know how to use the classifier. but what if we want to train our own custom classifier? What if we have our own training data and we want to create a machine learning program to recognize one picture from something else? How do we do that? We can actually do it really easily using Watson as the machine learning decider, the classifier. So what we're going to do is we are going to, we could actually use the visual recognition tool to actually do that. But I, I don't feel like doing that personally because you, you could actually drag your files in, but Let's do it the programmatic way. Let's be a little cool just to see how it's done. So again, you, you could do this just by dragging your file, your training data in here. And there is references on how to do that at, at the bottom of this page. But let's actually just write some code. So let's download some training data. On Watson's website, if you go here, which, you know, th their documentation here, it, it's a little boring. I don't feel like looking at it, actually. But they have pictures of beagles. And this should download it. I hope it downloads it. Yeah, so it, it's going to download some training data for us. And there's zip files with pictures of beagles, huskies, golden retrievers, which are obviously dogs. And there are pictures of cats. So basically, we want to create a classifier in this example using their data. This is their data, not mine. And the classifier is going to classify this specific type of dog. Again, because Watson has the general classifier, but maybe we want to be more specific or make a project for our needs. Like we want to classify a specific dog breed. That's why you would use your own training data. And you can do that easily. So the code to do that is right here. And I actually don't think I want to do that, like go through it. Let, 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 I'm not going to do it myself, but you know how to do it. I, I just want to go over the code with you. So all you have to do is in the parameters, you specify that you're creating a read stream. I, actually, you know what? Fine. Let's just do it. Let's do it. I hate it when people are like, oh, let's just do it. It's fine. So we're going to keep this. And what we want to do is we downloaded all four of those zip files from the website. I clicked those links, as you saw. And you can see we've got four new files here. Let's select, click them, and let's drag them all over into our project folder. Let's get out of here. And now we want to say that we, this, this is our new code. And as I say, the only thing that changes are the parameters. So let's just change this uh, params. Let's open our index.js file. And let's change this. So instead of uh, actually, are we classifying? I don't, I don't know. I think we're training now, actually. Create classifier, yeah. So, so we're creating a classifier. So let's actually just upload. Let's, let's change this, too. So there are two things changing in our code. Our parameters are now going to, we're going to create a dog classifier. And what are we going to give it? We're going to give it this for beagles. That's the label, actually. We're going to give it this for golden retrievers, which is a zip file of just pictures, which I don't want to unzip, but they're just pictures of dogs. And we've got negative examples. So what aren't huskies? What aren't golden retrievers? What aren't beagles? Well, they specifically chose cats, but obviously you could do whatever you want. Anything that's not, it could be 
plain black picture picture me i'm not a beagle or a husky and you call the create classifier from the visual recognition service on it so let's go ahead and just node index.js it i think that's all we need to do i think and watson's going to upload this to their servers it's going to train on based on our training data and it's going to take like a little bit because my internet's great, but you know, this is a machine learning thing. You gotta upload the, all those pictures, and then you got to not only just like have Watson train them, he's gotta process them, create the classifier. Okay, great, so what happened? So so it created a classifier, and the classifier is named this on Watson service, and guess what? Guess what's gonna happen? If we go, let's just close this and launch the tool again. If you click launch tool, you're going to see that our dog classifier showed up there. So again, IBM has everything on their backend service, but you can use the visual recognition service on their website, or you can just, you know, write your own code if you need to. And it's training right now. It's not ready. Watson's spending some time training the machine learning classifier on what a beagle is, what Husky is. And once it's done, you can, you know, use the exact same code before. Um, let me show you. You see this line right here? You can just uncomment it from before. And it says, what particular classifier do you want to use to send to Watson? Before, we were using the general service. But in this case, if you wanted to use our dog classifier, you would just pass it the ID, which in this case would be this ID, right? Really simple. And that's it. It's ready. Watson finished it. So we could actually just download some pictures of dogs and classify it, or we could use the API like we did with the pizza. But that's all you really need to know. There's nothing you can see if you wanted to... Yeah, that's the output. So that's it. You could use a custom classifier the same way we did before. And that's it. So that is Watson's visual recognition service. And there's going to be at least one more video on Watson's conversation service. We're going to make chatbots. So I hope you had a good time. I hope I, this was really informative to you. If it was, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, you know, go to the website and learn more about Watson and everything else, all the other programming things that I teach you. So I'm Source Make. Thanks for watching.